Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I've got the new best methods to level your guns up in Call of Duty Vanguard and if you don't have the multiplayer, also a way to do it in Warzone as well. But quickly before we do jump into the video, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and notifications turn on so don't miss any more videos on the channel. We're on the road to 15k subs and if you can help us hit that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to smash the big thumbs up as it helps me out more than you can imagine and let me know your thoughts on this method in the comments below. But I'm going to jump straight into the video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this video down into two methods. As you guys know, the zombies method uh, that was out like last week was the best method to do this. You can get guns leveled up and like to max level in about two hours. This has now been patched. This doesn't work anywhere near as well anymore. So zombies is not the method to go and do this. And I'm going to talk about two methods now. I'm going to talk about the one with Vanguard and then the Warzone one as well. And just can give you a little comparison at the end of which one is actually faster for you guys that have both. And you can make a decision on what one you want to do. First one I'm going to talk about is going to be normal multiplayer for Call of Duty Vanguard. All you guys are going to want to do is load into a game like Domination, Hardpoint, or Patrol. A game that's going to last a nice amount of time. It's going to get a nice amount of kills, assists, um, and a lot of just score in general. And all of this is going to go towards your weapon. So if you are playing for the zone and you're getting a good amount of score and you're finishing highly, obviously if you're finishing highly in the leaderboard, you're probably getting a good amount of kills and assists anyway, which is also obviously going to help towards your weapon because the more kills and the more assists you get is basically the main priority of the XP on like the way the most of the XP is going to come from towards your weapon level so the more kills you get the more assists you get the better it's going to level up your gun even faster than anything else rather than worrying about all the little bits of match bonus xp that you are going to get but if you guys do play a good game and you do get a good nice nice match bonus at the end some of that match bonus is going to go towards your weapon levels that you were using and then just genuinely completing weapon challenges throughout the game as well like the camos and things like that is also going to give you some extra weapon xp so make sure you are paying attention even if you're not on the camo grind you're just trying to level the guns up pay attention to what camos you are are close for try and finish them because it's going to give you a little bit of extra uh, weapon xp when you do manage to complete one of those challenges but like i say the reason you want to play something like domination patrol or hardpoint is just because the games are genuinely going to last longer and if the games are lasting longer you're going to be getting more kills it gives you more of a time to get into the flow of things it gives you time to get your team in a position where they're dominating the opponents especially if you get some of the smaller maps like das house you can really force them back into their own spawn and make it a lot lot easier for you guys to be able to just keep picking them off one by one getting a lot of kills Kills, getting a nice high score and just getting a lot of weapon xp because of the kills that you are going to be getting so i keep hearing a couple of people talk about these little extra tips and tricks with multiplayer to get more weapon xp and there just isn't any way of doing this it is literally a case of completing your weapon challenges like, like i said you're doing your camos you're going to get a little bit of weapon xp bonus for that and also it's just your kills and assists. that's pretty much all the only places you're going to get weapon xp from there's not really a whole lot of different like or oh, if you do this if you do that if you do that if you do that you'll get little bits of xp here and there that's not the case at all but the one thing i would make sure you guys are doing is if you are using certain guns and you haven't already used the operator for them or even if you have used the operator for them what you guys can do is check go for Depending which gun you're using, if you guys check your operators, they all have a favorite gun. And whichever gun is their favorite gun is going to give you more weapon XP if you do use that operator at the same time as that weapon. So make sure you check there's an if there's an operator for the weapon you are using at that point in time. Because like I say, you will be getting more XP for that operator with that operator on. And it's going to literally level your weapon up faster. That is the only little tip and trick that some people aren't doing that you guys might want to look at and just make sure you are doing. If you've got like the Type 100, I know there's a certain operator for the Type 100. So if you if you go right, I'm using a Type 100. Let me go and put this specific operator on. You're going to get, I believe, it's 10% more weapon XP if you are using that operator whilst using that gun as well. So make sure you are checking that every time you do use a new gun, just in case there is an operator there and it is going to allow you to level up that gun a little bit faster. And then the next method that I'm going to talk about, guys, is for you guys that have Warzone and you don't have Vanguard multiplayer, or you guys that might just want to play Warzone because you're a bit bored of Vanguard at a certain point, or whatever it might be. And what you guys are going to want to do is load into the game of Warzone and just complete contracts. This is so much easier if you guys load into Plunder as a full squad. What you're going to want to do is land in Plunder, um, and you are going to want to land on contracts like Supply Runs and Recons. They're the two best ones that you can do, but you can complete any contract. It doesn't make a difference. The Supply Runs and the Recons are just one of the fastest the ones to get done what you guys are going to want to do you're going to want to separate and pick up certain contracts each time so say for example i'll land on one contract then one other teammate goes and completes the contract because it's going to spawn further away from me then once they've completed that one of the other teammates
players can grab a contract and then someone else can go and complete that contract. So you're going to be slightly spread about. It just doesn't make a difference. This was a lot easier in Verdansk with helicopters. I'm not too sure if there's helicopters in Plunder this year. If there is, if everyone grabs helicopters, you can speed this process up by 10 times even faster. And basically, all you have to do is complete contracts. But when the contract is being completed, so just as the recon's about to finish or just as about someone's about to get to the buy station for the supply run, what you are going to want to do, you are going to want to have the gun you're trying to level up in your hands. That is when you will get the XP from the contract that you have completed. Go towards your weapon. It won't go to the weapon on your back. It will only go to the weapon in your hands. So make sure if you are completing challenges, you've always got the gun out in your hand that you do want to level up. And also one thing I do seem to notice is if you just spam like change weapons while you're running about the map, you do get a little bit of XP on each gun every time you pull it out. You'll find that sometimes randomly you'll pick up a gun and just by picking it up, it'll level up or by switching to your secondary at one time it will just randomly level up and i don't know why this is i don't know how much xp you do get every time you switch it but if you're just running about the map might be worth just switching your weapon over and over again just for the little bit of xp that you might get for it because sometimes this does happen sometimes i've run about and i've been using like my ar for example and i'll go and pull my smg out and then when I pull the SMG out, it seems to level up. So I don't know what this is all about. I don't know if you do get XP every time you switch a gun or every time you have a new gun in hand. I don't know, but it might be worth a try just because it does happen. But like I said, the Warzone method is to, if there is like if there is helicopters in Plunder, everyone get helicopters, just fly around, complete recons, complete supply runs, bounties, every contract you guys can complete or any contract you guys can complete, complete it. Just make sure you're holding the gun you want to level up at the end of the contract. That is the biggest thing that you guys can do. Obviously, if you can get some kills, in there as well it's going to help with more weapon xp because every kill you get is going to go towards weapon xp as well so if you can get some kills you might as well get some kills in there as well as completing the contracts it's going to give you a little bit more xp towards the end and also if you finish quite highly and you get a nice match bonus xp at the end of that game of plunder it is going to go towards your weapon level which is also obviously going to help it level up a little bit faster as well i actually compared how long it took with both these methods yesterday i've done an hour of double xp with a level zero or level one lmg and then I done an hour of Warzone Plunder with a, again, LMG with level one. So one of the LMGs got up to level 38 and the other one got up to level 41. The one that got up to level 41 was the one I used in Vanguard. And the one that got to level 38 was the one that I used in Warzone. So there's not too much of a difference between them. I just did find that multiplayer was a little bit faster. But when I'm playing multiplayer, a lot of the time, I am getting like 70, 80 kills, 90 kills, especially playing Shiphouse 24-7 as well. Just really allows me to get a lot of kills was going on which does help with wards towards the weapon xp but like i said there's not too much of a difference between so if you guys don't have vanguard or half your squad doesn't have vanguard or whatever it might be and you guys want to level weapon ups together what you might want to do is jump into warzone because it's not that much slower than playing vanguard but if you are really trying to be the most efficient that you can possibly be i would recommend playing vanguard if you do have it playing the ship house is what i was playing because like i said i can usually get like between 70 to 100 kills every game majority of the time as long as i am locking it in and getting a decent like objective game mode like domination rather than tdm on shipment but yeah hope this video has helped some of you out if it has be sure to smash the thumbs up as as more than you can imagine let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below and if you're not already subscribed to the channel notifications turn on please do make sure you do go ahead and do that as we're trying to hit 15k and if you can help us with that that'd be absolutely amazing i stream everything live over on twitch if you do want to go follow me over there link will be in the description for you guys to go and follow me i appreciate you guys watching the end i hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you on the next one in a bit Peace.